Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, one of my favorite, favorite things in the world, besides my woman, is my guns. And um, the problem with that is, guns can be kind of expensive, and I'm not the richest guy in the world. So I'm going to do a review of a couple guns that I bought on a budget, and um, just show you that you don't have to be rich to have a nice capable gun collection um, this first gun has got to be the bet the best budget gun you can get this is an M44 Nagant, made in Russia um, this one was actually made in 1945 um, it's a carbine so it's got a shorter barrel on it uh, this bayonet swings out the, the ammo is really cheap and you can get this gun for about a hundred bucks um, I don't think you can get a better hundred dollar gun that's for sure uh, you probably could buy a single shot 22 for that and it'll probably do good for you or maybe a Marlin 60 you know, those, those are good guns too but this has a lot of kick um, it can take down a deer elk whatever you want um, I pretty much bought this gun just just as a fun gun you know it, it has a lot of kick to it and um, shoot up some trees or something <laughs> the second gun this is a S Smith & Wesson uh, model 3000 this is a 1980s police gun that Smith & Wesson had made from um, in in uh, Cuba little island in Asia and they also made some some rifles for them very reliable it's based off the the uh, ace the Remington 870 uh, none of the parts are interchangeable though it's very solid never had a problem with this I paid under two hundred dollars for it it's very good for putting in the corner it's like a it's one of your bad children. <laughs> just make them stand in the corner all the time. Uh, home defense. I loaded up with a number four shot, and um, it's I couldn't ask for more for a home defense gun, especially for under two hundred dollars. Um, this I'm not a big hunter. Matter of fact, I it's been so long since I've been hunting um, that I can barely remember it. But my stepfather wants to go hunting this year so I wanted to get something cheap but accurate and this came along the, the way this is a uh, this is a Remington 1903 A3 so this is an old World War II gun um, it's actually been cut down at the barrel and you know special stuff done to it crowned and everything um, it comes with this old scope which is still pretty good it's a Weatherby Weatherby premium um, so yeah this is probably taken deer before um, whoever set it up set it up to take deer I'm pretty sure it's been blooded um, it's got a aftermarket trigger it's actually got a, a 1903 uh, floor plate it doesn't have the 1903 a3 and hopefully I can catch a deer save some some money for food uh, next fall we'll see and the S hits the fan um, I don't think that's gonna happen but it's always nice to have a capable rifle this is an SKS uh, made from China and uh, I actually really, really love this gun. I like it more than my AK-47. Um, just because I don't know, if I had to choose if I was hiking or, you know, marching through the woods, i definitely choose the AK-47 over this. But um, if I actually, you know, the shit hits the fan, I'm definitely going to be bugging in if I can, if possible. And this will, this will work. Um, but I'm like I said, I'm not traveling with this gun unless I have a vehicle. Um, if I'm going through the woods 
and there's people out to get me. I want to go fast and light, so you're going to stay home. Sorry, you're too heavy. I have uh, aftermarket sights on it on both ends. That's the William Surefire down there, and I have the Tech 2000, Tech T2000 or something like that, and uh, it's very accurate. It's very accurate gun. Clean, clean as, clean as heck. <laughs> I paid... Oh man, I I overpay on some of my guns, um, just because I'm sometimes impatient. But I don't overpay a whole lot. I think I paid um, three twenty for that, which you can get it for three. I pay a little over four, which you can get it under for three fifty on this uh, on this Remington. Um, I'm not sure about this one. I see the Smith and Wessons. There is some some uh, sites on there that you could. Buying for 175, but with shipping and all that transfer fees, um, under 200 is a good deal. You also can get a Mossberg for about the same price, and I've owned several Mossbergs, and I won't complain about them. Um, I've owned several of these, most of the Gants. Uh, I actually had a sporterized one, and I actually liked it a lot. This one costs you can get this for about a hundred dollars, and. Uh, very nice. Another one of my budget guns are right here. Uh, it's a Glock. Uh, it's a model 22 and it's second generation. You could tell because it doesn't have a rail in the front and doesn't have finger, finger grooves, um, which I don't use a light. And the finger grooves never lined up for the Glocks for me, um, especially if you undercut this trigger right here, which I plan on doing maybe one day, maybe not. <laughs> I like to keep some of my guns stock at least. The reason why this is a budget gun is because I paid, um, oh, I like I said, I overpay on everything. I paid about three seventy-five for this on the internet. You can pay about three hundred dollars for this gun. No joke. This is a Glock. Um, the reason why is this is a police trade-in from Detroit. So, you know, three hundred dollars for 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 a super reliable, probably the most reliable pistol you can buy, um, is a good deal. If you want to spend under three hundred dollars, uh, you can get a high point. You know, some Tauruses. Um, but the really only one that I recommend under three hundred dollars is probably the the CZ82, which the round is a Makarov round, and uh, I'm not really a fan of the Makarov round, but it'll do the job. It holds 12, and it's fairly compactable. Compactable. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's my guns, my duty pistol. I never have to go to duty, so it's just my pistol. <laughs> um, Moisten the gun. There's the Smith and Wesson Remington. My stuff hits the fan gun right there. Like I said, I would not take that with me. <laughs> it would be at home if I'm bugging out. If I was bugging out, it would be in between my AK, which I don't think I'll take, or maybe this gun. It looks a little bit, yeah, a little nicer. <laughs> you don't look so threatening carrying up. One of those guns, that's for sure, instead of the AK-47. And it's about six pounds, so it's pretty light. Um, there you have it. Thanks for watching, YouTube. Uh, my next review probably will be uh, some stuff I got in the mail. I got a new chair in the mail, coming in the mail for camping. Um, you seen last time on my review, if you watched it, I had a three-pound chair. <laughs> three-pound plus. I'm going to get actually one that's going to be on a sub one pound chair um, I think it's called the a light um, butterfly uh, check that out it's a very good chair I'll I'll do a review on it and test it out as soon as I get it um, thank you have a good day